Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 8x squared plus 16x equals 42, and we need to solve this by completing the square. One thing I notice is each one of these coefficients is divisible by 2, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. I'm left with a 4x squared plus 8x equals a 21. Now, for completing the square, that was just, well, just to simplify it a little bit. For completing the square, when a coefficient, the a value is greater than 1 here, we're going to have to divide everything by that coefficient. So divide this by 4, by 4, by 4, every part here. And so we're left with an x squared plus, well, 8x divided by 4, which is 2x. I'm going to leave a space here. And then 21 over 4 is just a fraction of 21 over 4. I'm going to leave it as such. I still follow the same process. My b value is 2. So I take 1 half, multiply it by 2, and then I square that. Well, 1 half times 2 is just 1 squared, and 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to take that 1, I'm going to add it to both sides of the equation. The left-hand side is now a perfect square of x plus 1, all squared. Well, the right-hand side, 21 over 4 plus 1, is 25 over 4. We now take the square root of both sides. We have x plus 1 here equals a plus or minus. Now, if you remember when taking the square root of a fraction, it's the same as the square root of the numerator and then the square root of the denominator. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we have x plus 1 equals, well, plus or minus 5 halves. Subtract one of both sides, you have x equals a negative 1 plus or minus 5 halves. And what does that come out to be? Well, let's deal with this first one. Negative 1 plus a 5 halves is a 3 halves. Well, negative 1 minus 5 halves is negative 7 halves. And so my two solutions are x equals 3 halves and negative 7 halves. And that is my final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.